Hi y'all, I wanted to share my woodland journal. This is my newest journal. I have some birch bark out of my yard here. Uh, we have a few mushrooms. The deer is just a, uh, what do you call it? A napkin. I have a muslin closure, cheesecloth, and a little bit of other stuff here. Um, the stuff that you would put in a plant. I don't know what this stuff is called. It's getting dark on me. I was trying to get this done before dark. So anyway, just some different textures. But let me get inside for a quick, quick flip. Here we have uh, just a library card that's been decorated. And I'm just going to flip through it pretty fast. I added different pages um, that uh, from all over the place. You know, I, I went through all kinds of woodland books and added different things. Uh, a lot of the same type of um, images are throughout in the kit. I'll have to get the kit name later for you. Edith Holden. It's a beautiful kit, though. Um, tree pages. Inside all the little pockets are just other, some of the same images, really. Um, Elizabeth Riggle had made this jelly print here. And these are some of the images from a journal that I had made. And this was from the front of a journal that I had made. I just made it smaller. So, anyway. Um, just going to flip through quick, 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 quick. Coloring book page. The way I did this one here was I added some tea bag to make mountains. And then I added the tea, dried the tea on there as well to, um, you know, get more texture to make it look like dirt. Like the little guy was walking on dirt. And just um, Nature Magazine. This was acrylic sun leaf prints. I and JJ with Joy on Facebook, I did a um, little quick live about that. I actually sewed in a tree, hand sewed a tree. That's just a wet wipe there. This is an altered paper clip. Kind of goes with my little raccoon guy here. And that's the other side. So it just slips off the page easily. And I like the, the wintry look. That's, that's my favorite right there. Kids book. We have some ledger paper. I watercolored. Um, just a beautiful kit. I think this is like mulberry paper maybe. I don't know. Woodpecker there. This just has a piece of paper, coffee dyed paper in it. Getting bit by a fly. Um, this is stenciled. And I've inked around the edges of the book. Added a paper clip. Inside the envelopes are just more images that are here. Just smaller images, you know. Uh, this is the other side of the eco dyed paper or um, fabric. And that is from Graphic 45. Made a little scrap cluster. Another child's book. Oops. Come on. Come on. I did some gesso over the top of Distress Crayons. Didn't work out like a plan, but hey, you know, it doesn't matter. It's just different. I believe Ali Calis, Cal I can't say her name, Calisandra uh, made that. I'm not 100% sure. She said I could borrow it and use it, so I absolutely love it. And I'm making, I've made this for a friend that Laura Sittlington made, gave me that. This was another Distress Crown. Didn't turn out like I thought. Eco Dye Print um, Copy. Uh, that's from Jen Wren Hardy. And I redid this. This has got a little flip page here, but, you know, a little bit of writing room. And again, my own drawings that I've made. So pretty, so pretty. I really love this. I might have to go back and make another one of these because it really is beautiful. And I really do love it. So, little tickets. The ephemera inside of the little things there. And, uh, you know, it's like this. Little pieces. Same, same stuff. Same stuff that's in anything and everything. Uh-oh. And the last page.
Thanks for watching, guys.